Welcome again to our another video. Today we have with us Mr. Dunboy Malakar, who has just been placed at Persistent System, which was an off-campus drive with a package of 4.75 lakhs. I would uh, like to welcome you, Mr. Dunboy. Yes, thank you. So first of all, I really want to congratulate you on behalf of whole Talent Battle team for being placed in such a big MNC. Okay. So. Welcome. So, uh, Tanmay, in this session, we will be discussing more about your experience in the hiring process of uh, persistent system. So, just uh, uh, explain us point to point, like uh, like what was asked basically in all the rounds. Okay. So, first question from you is uh, for you is like what was uh, like how was the whole hiring process uh, differentiated? Like how many rounds were there? Tell us in brief about it. So, uh, so it was a off campus train offered by persistent system so it has basically three rounds so first one is online uh, assessment round second one is uh, technical interview round and third one is uh, hr assessment round. and okay. after clearing three rounds and final is selection okay so they gave you the final offer mm -hmm. Okay, so talking about the first online assessment round, uh, is, so what was that online assessment round based on? Like, uh, how many sections were there? So it is basically divided in uh, three or it's basically in two sections. One is aptitude and reasoning, and another one is coding down. So in aptitude and reasoning, basic, uh, basic aptitude question uh, like maths and in reasoning down basic uh, reasoning type of question uh, pattern matching and all and some english also that english section is also included in aptitude also so there is some drama related question are there uh, in coding section there are basically two coding question and the time is uh, uh, 60 minutes okay and what was the timing for the first aptitude test so aptitude test is uh, uh, nearly uh, 45 minutes okay. for all rounds. So what was the format of that aptitude section? Like it was an MCQ type questions, but there are uh, you need to like write a one word answer. Okay, it was basically uh, MCQ type of question was there. So in uh, aptitude, mainly question from uh, general mathematics and general english and in logical section in general uh, pattern matching question on picture related reasoning question was mostly and nice. that question uh, also taught by tunnel pattern team and it was really helpful to solve those questions okay so picture interruption was there uh, that was hmm. mostly asked mostly asked okay Coming to the coding round, like uh, first of all, it, there was a sectional timing for the test, or the use, uh, like the whole test was uh, scheduled uh, mm -hmm. the same time. What was the timing? Uh, basic timing for the so given for basic, basic all about is uh, half an hour, so sixty and half an hour. So basically, um, an aptitude is it was different timing, and in coding it was different timing. Okay, so was uh, like there was like elimination rounds or you need to attempt both the rounds? No, there was not an elimination round in between. So we have to attend both the round at a time. Okay. Aptitude and coding both the round at a time. Okay, uh, were you told about any passing criteria? Uh, so they don't told me any passing criteria, but uh, we have to at least in coding down, we have to at least uh, uh, passed all that uh, minimum 50 or 60 percent test cases is enough so to and in aptitude section uh, i really suggest to solve logical question because it was uh, easy to solve also and english section was also good so were you able to solve uh, all the questions uh, like uh, in the particular given time no, actually, in uh, aptitude, I could not solve all the questions at the time because the timing also uh, some issue. 
so in coding round i solved both the coding questions okay so how much uh, percentage of questions you solved from the aptitude section so in percentages we can say uh, 80% 80% is solved okay so after attending the online assessment when did you got your results for the same so after uh, uh, given my online assessment uh, early 5 to 6 days later i got my tier assessment uh, tier interview mail. okay so you got the interview mail okay so uh, the like what was the first interview based on like it was based on technical questions or like it was another kind of interview like hr based or managerial first first one is a technical interview so it was basically a technical related portion general oops related portion and some structure in c structure and there was portion general on coding syntax and after uh, some general technical portion they told me to solve a coding question on the interview so in persistent they set up a uh, virtual environment from their end so we have to uh, solve the code on that virtual environment so okay. in front of the judge okay so you need to write the code on their provided virtual environment mm -hmm. do you remember which code they said you to like write on So uh, in my uh, in my time, they asked to solve one palindrome string type of question. So first, so they have a they gave you the choice of choosing your favorite language. So you can code in your uh, favorite language, no issue. So we have to they asked what is uh, what was your what is your favorite language. So then they set up that language, and then you have to. for the particular question on, on their virtual environment and they and you don't give any you don't need to any give the test cases the test cases set by the default okay 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 so was the questions uh, like uh, how many questions were asked in the interview and what was the duration of the technical interview so total duration was uh, Uh, 15 to uh, 20 minutes. Okay, okay. It it just ended in 20 minutes. 20 to uh, mostly I can say 30 minutes. So actually, okay. uh, 5 to 10 minutes on um, the general technical portion, and then they set up the uh, coding one. Okay. Were you able to answer all the questions asked by the interviewer, or you were lacking Is some it? here? Uh, okay. No, no. In technical portion, I. Uh, Okay, all the answer, but in coding section, mm, they actually set a different uh, test uh, test cases too. So that I could not solve that time, but I tried the procedure and tried the uh, I tried to solve that question, but I could not solve that time. But uh, then it was said it is okay. Uh, we just mm, see you how to solve the how how you actually approach that question. Okay. So they said. They basically test the strategy of solving the question. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. So when did you came to know like you have checked the interview and you were shortlisted uh, for the other interview? So actually, after giving the TR interview and in one and two days, I got another mail from the persistent list in HR assessment. So in HR assessment, it was it was actually not a video interview round. So they gave you one. Uh, assessment. So we have to uh, give that assessment. So it is basically behavioral type of round. So they gave you some situation based question. So we have to uh, give your best choice based on the situation. So okay. it is basically behavioral assessment round. Persistent system. Okay. So how many questions were there, and uh, what was the time slot given to you? So actually, I don't remember how many questions. It was basically. And uh, twenty to thirty question and uh, more than thirty years. Okay. And, and actually, it is not a uh, time bounded question that is okay. one hour test. Okay. So we have to give the uh, in mail. They told you to uh, complete the uh, HR assessment in twenty five minutes. So we can uh, complete our test um, after twenty five minutes also. Okay. Okay. Okay.
uh, what was your like strategy and it uh, anything you think in your mind like before the sitting for the persistent system what was your how was your planning uh, throughout the hiring system okay so actually in campus hiring process in persistent system was not so difficult so in aptitude and coding now so the general coding process need enough and in, in coding round i can say uh, two type of coding question was there so one is medium level and one is very easy level so in easy level you can also solve those so in medium level you, you have to fill the question uh, but it is completely depending on situation so mainly they give you uh, two uh, type of level one is easy and one is medium in uh, assessment round and uh, in general coding round in interview they gave you the choice of in your favorite language and they asked you the coding question uh, according to uh, your resume and all so they don't ask any uh, difficult type of question in interview so it was mainly on basic general right. type of coding. so it is basically uh, straight cut coding question in interview round so not any Uh, situation based, not any um, actually story based question. So it is straight cut question, like uh, string permutation or uh, reverse string or something like. That. Okay, okay. And uh, when did you got your final results? It is basically four, five, two or six days. Eight. Okay, okay. It took uh, like a week to announce the final results. <laughs> okay. so any advice you want to give the envoy to our upcoming juniors that uh, those who want to pursue their career with best persistent system like what should they prepare for the most any important topics any important suggestions you want to give to our juniors so i mostly suggest the uh, actually coding down so we have if you take the all, all two question in uh, assessment down and if you give the uh, 90 and above for uh, above And then you have a uh, marks in your interview and in performance in PR interview. Then you basically selected in persistent system. So in HR assessment was not the difficult. So it is basically a situation based question. So you know the how to tackle those question and what is your or that uh, actually what is the answer of the question you already know by the uh, by reading those question. So basically the main focus is. Uh, coding round in uh, assessment test and some uh, general aptitude question and third is uh, technical interview round. So it is three is important for persistent system. Okay, okay. So thank you, Tanmoy, for being here today and guiding your juniors or those who are preparing for the same company. So I really uh, wish you best of luck for your upcoming future. And uh, thanks for giving your time to Team Talent Battle and sharing your valuable experience with us. Thank you.